It's officially summer in the city. Right now in the city of New Brunswick, we're at 84 degrees, even with a light cloud coverage and light rainfall falling on top of us. We can tell you it's about to get a whole lot hotter over the next few days. And for some, unfortunately, that extreme heat can be extremely dangerous. Over the next four days, some of the hottest temperatures will be found in our cities. And you can bet one of those hot spots will be the corner of Somerset and Easton Avenues in New Brunswick, where there are people, cars, and construction all baking together under the hot sun. In summer, you know, you have to put up with it. What can you do? It's challenging. It's just challenging to keep cool, you know, make sure that the pets are cool, that your flowers are watered. So what exactly can we expect? We're going to be flirting with 95 upper 90s perhaps coincidentally it happens to come in in the week that is climatologically the hottest of the summer state climatologist david robinson has been watching what's been happening across the southwest in phoenix they've had 25 straight days with a high temperature above 110 degrees yes there have been plenty of extremes but what's most unusual about this heat is its persistence <laughs> It's actually led to 20 heat-related deaths in Phoenix, Arizona. So what should you be on the lookout for? Well, health departments across New Jersey are warning people to watch for the following. Heat cramps, which will cause muscle pains or spasms. Heat exhaustion, that means heavy sweating or weakness. And of course, the most extreme, heat stroke. When the body temperature reaches 103 degrees or a person has no sweat and a rapid pulse. These are the types of symptoms a guy like delivery driver Ronald Vega needs to be on the lookout for. He works eight hours a day on the road and his simple common sense keeps him nice and cool. Drinks lots of water. I um, obviously wear my hat put sunscreen on. I keep that AC running in my truck all day long. Nearly every town across the state also has cooling centers, such as the public library on Livingston Avenue in New Brunswick, which will be open to those in need. We have been told that this extreme heat is not something you should fool around with. The CDC says that nationwide about 700 people die each and every year. While we are getting this dose of high heat, we should get relief by Sunday in New Brunswick. I'm Chris Keating, News 12 New Jersey.